just the latest in a string of problems and resignations, many coming after five investigates. Mike Bodette started asking questions. So Mike is live for us tonight right now. Mike. Ed, Governor Baker says more shakeups are on the way at DCR in the coming days, if not sooner. It is clear he wants to put these lingering scandals behind him. They were not chosen because of their political party. They were chosen because of their skill sets and their abilities. Governor Baker forced to answer more questions about Republicans hired in his administration. Do you need to do a top to bottom review to make sure that people in their positions are qualified and deserve that? I don't want to paint a brush that says everybody who works at DCR doesn't know what they're doing because a lot of the people who are there do. I will say this. Anybody who engages in any of the kinds of activity that have been associated with either this investigation or some of the stuff that's been uh, reported on with respect to the misuse of state property and all the rest, we will deal with that. It comes after an embarrassing string of scandals in the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, including the Department of Conservation and Recreation. Deputy DCR Commissioner Matthew Sisk resigned on Friday after video surfaced of him using lights and sirens on his state SUV to get through Boston traffic. Weeks earlier, the state suspended Sisk and his boss for using state funds for a private July 3rd party. And on Monday, Michael Crowley, another DCR manager and friend of the ousted deputy commissioner, resigned, but no reason was given. The optics appearing to resonate with the governor. It's better make the news. The administration had planned to promote Baker aide Scott Conway, who's worked for a long list of Republicans, to DCR to run parks operations. But the move was scrapped. Was he being put in a job he wasn't qualified for because of his connection to you? No, I'm, I'm a big Scott Conway fan. Is he here, by the way? He's behind the door. Okay. I'm a, <laughs> Scott, you want to come out and take a run at him? Um. Conway, by the way, was on the invite list for that infamous DCR party. The Baker administration also announcing it's taking away about two dozen take-home cars for state vehicles, including employees who had cars equipped with lights and sirens. Live at the State House, Mike Bodette, Five Investigate.